Hey, Dad. Hey, what's up, buddy? You know what Honda stands for? Uh, no. Holding old nasty dudes' asses. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, roll the intro, roll the intro. Hello, boys and girls. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, I've been working a ton. This is a Defenders of Animals Club ride today that I'm not filming anything to do with the meeting or anything else. Of course, I'll always put the links in here for Defenders of Animals for the merchandise. Um, we are gonna have a uh, event coming up in the very near future. But please buy your t-shirts and stuff to help support Three Little Pities, which we've talked about. I've got some things I'm gonna be talking about today. I actually added uh, fog lights, fog light kit to the bike. Um, the Honda fog light kit. Uh, just because you know how far Honda is on their warranty. And I also got a trunk that I'm gonna put on the bike. That should be in this video. So we're gonna go look at the Honda fog lights. I didn't install them, I had them installed because one of those situations where I did not wanna deal with that shit. I like the headlight on this bike, but I felt like I was kind of overrunning it a little bit sometimes, like I'm overriding my light. And those fog lights give you the ground view and they give you a side view, which I really like, a ground view and a side view. That's made that awesome, so I'm enjoying that. So that kind of gives you an idea of what they look like. Of course, you got the LED headlights, but the fog lamps. So here you are without them. Here you are with them. So it just adds like a double layer of light is the best way to do it. With the bike standing up, it shows you much better actually what they look like. Um, again, there's them off and them on. It it makes a huge difference when you are uh, when you're riding because they kind of come together you don't have that separation between them and you can actually see the bottom and the side. if you look at if you look over there towards the <laughs> towards the fence of my house like they spread out so that you can actually see both sides of the road very well it's pretty impressive really really worth every penny i spent on hey y'all so listen my main topic of discussion today is talking about parts uh paying for expensive parts I'm a firm believer that certain parts are worth it. I believe the Honda fog lights that I bought that I showed you on the bike earlier are totally worth it. Um, the $2,000 for the Honda Tour Pack, I'm not paying that shit. Um, yeah, it's OEM and it goes with the bike, but there's people who are using the Shad and using the Givy. Uh, I'm using the Adlo, the one from Amazon, just to give it a shot, just to see what it would be about, to see if it's a different alternative. If it's not worth the shit, then I'll go to another one. Or if I find out that a couple of these tour packs aren't worth a damn, then I'll just go ahead and fork over the money and save the cash and, and buy the one from Honda. You get what you pay for. This is a situation where I feel like I got a decent product for a decent price, threw it on the bike, and I'll show you exactly, you know, how this tour pack works, what it looks like, and it'll let you make up your own mind. So there's your little mounting bracket, and because I wanted it to mount behind my uh, Mrs. Smitty Hyden's backrest that she likes, I took this and I did paint pen where the holes will be, where the bracket needs to line up and the holes will be. I put that rack on there to hold my bag and stuff, but decided I wanted to do a tour pack. So now I just took this, this is mounted solid, like this is good and I felt like this was flimsy. So I'm just gonna, I have where I have my holes set up and everything to drill. I'm gonna line everything up, I'm gonna drill these holes and I'm gonna bolt it up and then put the pack on. So I guess we're gonna see how that goes. So here's the tour pack. It's this Adlo tour pack. It's got a key and it's got this little push button on the bottom that allows you to take it off the bracket uh, when you need to, which is good because when I want to take it off, I can just take it off and it will come off the bracket. The good news is that you can't access that while the bike is locked. All right, here we are, fast forward. There's your four bolts right there. I had marked it, I drilled out the, uh, I drilled it out like I had shown you I was going to do. Not a big deal. Um, I put four, the four bolts on there with uh, lock nuts and with uh, Loctite. It ain't going anywhere. You can see this whole, like I'm shaking the bike. All right, so to give you an idea where it mounts in back here, um, I put a little bit, of, uh, little bit of tape on there to fill in that gap because it's got a little wiggle. And right here where it mounts in, if you look right there, got a little lift to it. Uh, it's not coming off. You can see I'm, <clears throat> I'm pulling. The bracket ain't coming off. Nothing's coming off. All right, so here's the walk around. 
with the uh, with the trunk on. And I wanted to show the trunk from the side. One of my big recommendations, and what I did was, whenever I was putting it on the bike, I had I put some wood underneath the kickstand to uh, to hold the bike up level and have my son hold it. And what we did was, when we got ready to, we put the the tour pack on the mounting bracket, set it on there, and I put a level to make sure it was straight. And then we measured each side, so to make sure that thing is dead center, to make sure it's not off kilter because. When I look back at the video, you can see the, uh, when I have the bracket laying there and you see that the holes are drilled, it looks like it's off. Well, that's because when I did that video, the bike is sitting like this on the side stand, not straight up and down. But you can see right here, it's leveled, it's centered. It, it turned out pretty, pretty nicely. There's a full face, there's a the top of it, but there's a full face helmet in there. A lot of room, like for me, I carry water. I'll put some tools in there. I'll actually take some stuff out of my saddlebags uh, to make more room in them and put them in that tour pack. But man, 182 bucks for this thing. And you saw what I did. Of course, like I said, I had the existing plate here and you can even still see little white marks where I marked it um, to drill. But having that existing, so th I, this is another thing. I bought this, I can't remember where I bought it from, uh, just as a rack to hold my bag. But it wound up being perfect for this. Now, again, I showed under there earlier, I had to, both of the back bolts, if you look at them, if you look here and here, this one, it's actually as far as it will go and so is that one because they're running into the welded bracket. It won't go any higher, but they're locked tight in place and they're lock nuts and the back two are totally flush. It does have that little bit of play, like I talked about, right there. But it's not, it ain't going anywhere. And the whole rack is solid. So I feel like it's a pretty sound investment again. I like it, man, 182 bucks. It was cheap. Hey, y'all do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little chick -chick bell icon so you get notifications when the shit show gets rolling. A little look, I bounce all around the place today, um, which is, probably par for the course. I do a lot of that. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to spend $2,000 on a Honda trunk if you want to do something different or put one on your Harley. Hell, it might work on your Harley too. There's different ways to mount it up. You can mount them on uh, all kinds of different ways. Um, I just, normally I spend money for good stuff. You know, I bought the Gold Strike parts and I got the F4 Customs windshield and I got the good backrest and the seat. Uh, I spent good money on TBR and they fucked me uh, and act like it's my fault. Them in 58 cycles, so I figured why not do something cheap now. Adlo makes a decent little uh, trunk and so far so good. Um, but anyway, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate you having 6,100 subs is crazy and it's all because of you guys and I appreciate you. So I want you guys to have a great day. Let's try not to be assholes to each other or to animals and I'll see y'all next time.